source code of this entire template and many of you already have this so you can see this is how it will look in this you will find all the different pages so this is the folder which you will find in this template when you will download the source code in that you will have the asset folder and then you will have all of these pages so if i open this one in that you will find all the files and the css the images the javascript that's all you will find so under the assets we have this content css we have font images javascript logo web font so first we have the content so this is the image for the content under the CSS, closes one, under the CSS, we have all these CSS files. So what the developer have done, like they have divided the entire CSS in multiple categories. And that's what happened in the real world. You should never write the entire CSS in one page. You should better divide the entire CSS in multiple files. So one CSS will target the animation. One CSS file will target the responsiveness of the application. One CSS will target the carousel. One CSS will target the animation. So it's better to divide in multiple file for different purpose. And that's what you can see what we have done here. Okay, you will find all of these custom classes we have included. Looks pretty good. So our developer have done amazing work. You can see they have written so many lines of code. These are the animation file. This is the all the data location file. This is the bootstrap we have used for all the colorings. That looks pretty good. And amazing. This is the jQuery. Looks pretty good. Huh? This is the carousel. For the sliders and all this is for the responsiveness you can see the authors and all these responsive classes we have included into this and here we have the custom style css styling so first we have imported all of this file you can see we have imported all of this file and then we have imported the do the basic editing and basic modification and that's what you have to do if you find that something is not well as per your brand so that's the changes you're going to do it and that's the css you're going to write in this particular file not any one of other phone okay just you have to write in this file okay you can target that with the class and you can simply do the changes and this is the font again this is the css file for the font because when you will use custom font in your application you have to do the CSS, you have to define that what is the size, what is the name of the font you want to provide, what is the font type we want to assign. So that's all configuration you will do here in the CSS as well. You can see that's all we have done here. Then we have the font which you don't need to worry about that. Simply ignore this file. And close this one. Then we have the images and that you will find all the images we have used in this entire application and you can see about avatar and all of this thing we have here so you can see under the about we have this about thumb one about thumb two so what i would recommend you obviously you're not going to use this this the same images when you will deploy the application you're going to use your own team images so what you have to do is you have to use the exact name you have to use the exact name which they have provided to the images. So if you want to replace this particular image, all you have to do is to replace the image, but you have to give the exact name and you have to keep the image in the same folder. Okay, that's the general thing you have to do if you want to replace the images. So remove the images, but you have to give the same name and you have to keep in the same folder. In that way, your entire designing entire images will be working fine. Otherwise, you won't want to mess it up okay so make sure to pick the dimension ratio come and have a look at what dimension ratio they have taken in the images and you have to design the image in the same dimension so that's the avatar this is the background we have a different background for different sizes okay looks pretty good now we have the blocks so these are the images we are using in the block section and this is the thumbnails we have close this one so all the assets will be provided all you have to do is to change with your and you have to provide your your <laughs> provide the name exact name and this is the csv file so if you want to do any modification in the csv file the icons you don't like you can simply come and you can do the editing if you know but i would recommend you just leave it as it just replace the content replace the images and you are ready to go with that because the developer have followed the particular pattern particular convention when for building this particular template okay and that's what exactly happened in the real world so you can't suddenly change everything in one go okay then we have this error all the csb icons you will find here close this one this is the logo the two different logo we have color and white and this is the team folder so you can see this is the color one which we have used and this one is the light one because we have light and dark theme as well and this is the team this is the welcome images the fab icons the shape and the coat looks pretty good okay so these all images so one thing i want to highlight here is that 
it replaces the images but you have to provide the exact name which the name which the image has this is the entire javascript so we have used bootstrap you can see this is the entire bootstrap close that one this is the jquery don't you do anything in here unless or until you you understand the code but i would tell you just leave it as it is because everything is working fine this is the plugin just leave it it as it is and this is the active so like opening closing that's all we have here this is the logo again this is the font which you don't need to worry about it close this one then we have the quote this one is also fine close this one and we have seen all the folders and files everything is working fine and close this asset one and here we have all the pages whatever pages i have show you in the beginning that's all we have here so we have this 404 okay we have this about we have come here blockchain coder so here i'm on the blockchain coder and here i have listed all the tools all the platform which i use for hosting the application so you can see i use hostinger hosting domain and digital ocean so in this video i would prefer you to pick this hostinger because they are giving amazing discounts and recently we have been in touch with them so they are giving 75 percent discounts if you want to pick and generally we use digital ocean for the bot for the automated tools running something on the server but when it's come to uploading a static sites hosting is one of the best hosting is one of the best and they have amazing offer and they have amazing customer support so i'll go with this hosting so make sure to come i'll provide the link in the description so you guys can click and you can simply come and you can click on the hosting so this is the one we're going to use it they're having amazing discounts right now this is the digital oceans and if you want to come to the pages click on this so if you come to this blockchain coder you can access this page by here click on resource section and if you create your account you can simply find here so click on this get offer and it will come back to the hostinger so right now you will get 75 percent discount so hosting is such a powerful platform which allow you to host your application and static site so right now you can see that i'm in i'm from india so this is the indian price i'm getting and right now they're having amazing discounts so simply click on this and here you will find all the countries so no matter for which country you are you can pick your country and you can have the entire setup so if you are from usa you can this is the exact amount you have to pay which is very less so i'll come back to the india <coughs> i'll come back here in india and i'm getting amazing discount so click on this and they have 30 days money guarantee click on claim and here they have three plans so this one is the single web hosting and this one is premium this is the business so if you come back to the signal hosting in the single web hosting you will get one website 5 gb storage 100 gb broadband you will not get any domain you will get unlimited ssl and security and all of these things but the one i use personally and the one i'm going to use in this project is this most popular one the premium web hosting because i can store 100 websites I have this much storage, unlimited broadband. I will get a free domain which I can use for testing. So this is the one which I'm going to pick. And the best part is that you can able to select their data location. So if you're from USA, you can select the data location of USA. If you're from India, Turkey, you can select the exact data location. I'm going to select the India one. You can come here and you can simply compare the pricing plan for the single premium business. And this one is the most affordable one and the best thing i like about this hostinger is that their customer support is really very good so whenever my website or any website of my clients get down i can connect with them i can easily able to find them and they can help me amazingly very fast so what i will do i'll simply come up here and this is the plan which i'm going to buy so let me click on this add to cart and you will come here you will come here you can see what you will get so they have multiple plans one month 12 month 14 month 24 and 288 months so this is the plan which i'm going to take right now i'm getting amazing discounts on that and this is the exact amount i have to pay so right now the actual price is 21,000. this but i'm getting on this particular amount for four years for four years so this one is absolutely amazing discount so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video for a while time and let me buy this hosting so let me buy that one 
so so here i have purchased the domain and hosting and i believe that you have done that too so this is the single web hosting and this is the domain i have registered so when i was registering the domain uh, somehow i stopped the recording and because of that i was not able to capture the recording of the domain so all you have to do is that when you will come here for the very first time it will tell you to register a domain all you have to do is to pick the name which you want it could be a dot com online okay so make sure to pick that one and after that just follow the normal convention rules which they ask you to do that okay so here i have registered this particular domain the blockchain coder project dot online and this is what i use for deployment and for the tutorial purpose so you can see this is what we have and click on this manage and you will come here so when you will create your buy the hosting this is how you have to do exactly here you have to create a website simply click on this click on this start now we already created click on this skip now and from here you have to select the domain so if you have domain you can pick that one or if you don't have the domain you can simply buy it so click on that i'll select this one select this one and click on this set up finish so it's going to take a little bit time it's going to install the ssl certificate on your domain hosting so just wait for our time it's going to do all the installation it's going to create a like file manager where we're going to upload the files so just wait it's happening and generally it takes close to two to three minutes so it's happening in my case it's happening very quickly so just wait and and just a moment give me some time and finally we are about to finish so it's happening and here we have completed this entire process now all you have to do is to click on this manage side and this will take you to your control panel so again i'm telling you that use hostinger or you can use any other platform a2 hosting or any other which you like to pick or you can use digital ocean but i use personally hostinger for my static sites and for the server sites i use digital ocean you can pick any one of that and personally i don't use wordpress because there is a lot of customization you have to do if you want to use it although it's very simple but this is really easy for me so let's wait and you will come to this portion you can see our domain is successfully connected and here you will find multiple options so you will have this the package you have taken then the domain then the email and the daily backup so if you want to see the details about the hosting platform that's all you can able to find that what is the weight or like how big your project is that's all you can find let's come back here so here we have the domain so you can able to find all the details about the domain come back here and here we have the emails so when you will buy the email when you will buy the hosting they will provide you these things like they will you will get one gb storage you can create five different emails using your domain name so that's pretty easy you can come and you can follow that that's a self-explanatory thing come back here and now the most important thing is we have to do is click on this file manager and here we have to upload the entire file click on the file manager and you will come here looks pretty good this will take a little bit of time it's going to redirect to the file manager and once you will click on this file manager you will come to this particular interface and here we have to upload the entire files so first thing we have to open this folder so we have to open it we have to get into the public html file and we have to delete this one you can see it's a php so they are using php but we don't want to use php we want to use our custom file so i'm going to simply delete this one and now you have to open your so now you have to open your file location where you have stored the file so i'll simply go back to the downloads and this is the entire folder i have this is the one in which i have the file so i will simply open this one and all i have to do is to i have to simply drag and drop all the files so here i'm showing you the entire file but in your case you have to pick the template the styles which you want in your application okay but i will go with the entire one so all i have to do is if i come here if i open this all the asset will be remain here so simply uh, uh, select all of this and simply drag and drop right up here you can see it's going to upload the entire file this will take a little bit time and it's happened very quickly you can see we have uploaded the entire file and here you have to keep one thing in mind that your your home page should be in index file you can give any file as your index but you must have to have a file with the name index if you don't provide that index it's not going to trigger your application and you will get a 403 error okay forbidden request error you will get so make sure that whatever html file you will have no matter how many files you have one of the files should have a index page index name okay so that's the thing you have to keep in mind so we can see i already have a lot of index so i don't need to worry about that so this is the 404 about us looks pretty good decent to me and this is the index 
all the codes you can find and by the way if you want to do any modification all you have to do is simply so if you want to do any modification in the template after deployment all you have to do is to click on that simply download the file open in your vs code and do the editing and after that redeploy right up here okay don't try to do any editing right up here in the file manager that can create a lot of mess if your application is live so it's always better that you should download and do all the modification in your vs codes after that you can simply deploy that one that would be fine so before you do any changes make sure to test in your local system after that you deploy now you can see it's working fine so if i reload that and all the files are here come back here click on this and this might take a little bit time sometime it takes half an hour sometime it take one hour but when you're doing it freshly at that time it will happen very quickly but in my case it's hap it takes a little bit time because i use this particular domain and use this particular hosting multiple times so in that context i have some caches in my browser so sometime i have to retry after after half an hour and it will work fine but in your case if you're trying it for the very first time it will happen quickly and if you're still getting an error just wait for half an hour because it takes time to set up the domain history all of things okay so if you click on that it's going to open it you can see i have already deployed this particular application on this and that's why you can able to find this one i got phenomenal response from many of you those who have taken this course so i believe that you guys have taken this course and this will teach you every single thing which you have to know about web development how to deal with the api how to use redux react redux every single thing you have to know in the web 2 space and build any type of application so that's all i have covered extensively in this project so i want you to come and check this one is a quite long project it's a nine close to nine hour project so that will give you a tons of learning so that's a, that's enough promotion of my course I want you to check it out after that you should decide because recently I got phenomenal response and come back here you can see here you can able to find so this is the course which I was talking about it's a AI power course that will give you tons of learning so click on close on this one and you can able to click on this source code and here we have all of this project so if you really want to learn about web 3 and web 2 development you must build all of this project because once you will have all of this project that will give you a real learning and this is the template you have you can simply get it where you want click on that and you can simply get it so when you buy any source code from our platform you provide your valuable contribution so we can able to bring more free courses we can able to hire more developers who can build this phenomenal applications so we can teach you so I'm really happy for all of you, those who have given your valuable contribution, those who have contributed personally, source code financially. Thanks for all of you guys. So make sure to come and read everything. Everything is given here. So I want you to build this particular project if you haven't built that NFT marketplace. And I want you to build this one chat application. And this is the one Unisop clone. And then you have this real estate app. And we have this one MetaMask clone. This one is a really powerful. If you want to build your own crypto exchange wallet like a metamask that's what it is very soon a project will come on this and this is the one we have completed very recently in that you will build the front end so if you want to learn about front end development back end development smart contract that's all you will find in this particular project that's a quite huge project i want you to come and have a look on this okay we have tons of project so this is the my youtube channel so if you're new to my channel hit like and subscribe that will motivate me a lot and we're going to start working on this DeFi project very soon you can see that's all you will find here here and that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video i know this video is quite big but many of you have constantly requesting me to make a video where i can show you that how you can deploy because some of you are really taking this project very seriously and want you to start your own agency and i really appreciate it. i want you to start your own agency if you are a developer you need to have it where you can showcase your skills you can allow user you allow those who want your help to build their project they can hire you they can know about you so I want you to have a look and just build your own. So that's the only thing from my end. Hope you guys have found this video valuable. If you have still any confusion, any doubt, and any request regarding any videos, do let me know in the comment section. I'll try to make it on it. And you will have your doubts clear. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.